And here we go, we're starting off fast. We've got a boat coming in, a broken down one going by, and well, just all kinds of chaos happening down here today. Welcome back, crew, to the greatest show on Earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, and today we are down here visiting Black Point Marina. So our crew's gonna head in on approach for the dock. Brake checks it back. Looks to the port side, and we've got another broken down vessel coming in. And man, I'm impressed right here. I think our guy's gonna back out and let this other crew come in. We'll see him come into the frame in a moment, but they're being towed in, which is a pretty courteous thing to do as well. If I was approaching a dock and saw somebody being towed in, I would probably back out and let them go at it as well. So he's gonna back up and our other crew should pop in any moment here. So this is not one of those towboat pull-ins. <laughs> this is when somebody's just decided to be a good Samaritan and pull them in. These ones can get interesting pretty quick, and these are two big boats. So our guy's gonna drift out of our way here. Let's see if we can get a shot on this. Kind of in between both the docks right now. They got to find a way to try and get this boat over. They're a little too far for anybody to go for a toss. And they're kind of close to the boat that's to the left of them. So there we go. He's going to use the motors, try and push the stern across. Give him just that little bump and push. Our guy's off the back. Oh, no, he's not off the back. The stern's going to wind up hitting. The bow's heading toward the other boat on the other side. And man got a little hectic right there at the end but we do got a line in the dock that's a good sign now they're just going to try and get a bow line over so they can get this thing pulled alongside so the towing vessel is going to go ahead and pull out of here and our crew is going to work on getting this thing put up So our crew on the Prowler's done a pretty good job getting this thing alongside the dock, and we've got somebody off the bow onto the dock already. It should be good to go. But Cap's gonna leave the helm, and he's gonna go try and get him on the dock. Oh no! Cap's going for the splits as the boat starts to drift out. He's trying to keep it over, seeing if he can hang on. <laughs> and man, He's losing it. I don't know if this is a battle he's gonna win. He's asking for the line, and there we go. He'll be able to pull that one back. So our next crew coming in, it looks like the wind and currents got him just a little bit, because they're coming in at kind of a funky angle. But Cap's got it back under control, it looks like. They're a little far off the dock, so Cap's going to try and line this one back up a little bit. So he slowly rolls it back out. Going to get that bow pointed in toward the dock. And here we go, coming in. No, what is, no! I, don't put your body between the dock and the boat! I mean, I know they weren't quite on the dock yet, but the reality is if Captain accidentally hit the throttles or anything, that can be disastrous. But this crew will get it on. And here comes our well craft in on approach toward the dock. And they're coming in a, kind of a little hot for a boat this size. Cap's gonna wanna brake check this down a little bit. But no, he's gonna let it roll, it looks like, at the pace they're going. Oh, and they wind up hitting the dock. The whole thing kind of just shook right there. I actually almost thought the piece was going to come loose on the dock. And here comes our next crew in on approach, and they've got the marine mat on the rear deck of this vessel, which is going to hinder their access to that rear deck, obviously, as they try and come in on the dock. But we've got somebody kind of standing back there, and it looks like we've got somebody in the bow as well. 
So we've got a bow line and a stern line. Let's see how this fares. Oh, well, they're going to go into cheat mode. <laughs> so one of the security officers down here at Black Point's decided they're going to help them out, but they've got the boat basically sideways now. So they got to figure out how they're going to get this one brought back around. So if somebody else leaves the boat, <laughs> like, bro, we've got to get the stern line off. But they've got to get close enough for him to toss it. As we see there, they were not close enough. <laughs> he throws his hands in the air. And looks at security and is like, bro, you see what I'm dealing with here. <laughs> and it look doesn't get any better on the second toss. And third time's the charm. And they'll get it over. So our crew's trying to fight the current to get over to the dock. And I'm not sure why. There's nobody else on the other dock on the other side, but as you can tell, their boat's not wanting to go that way. So they continue to drift off, and I wonder if Cap's had that light bulb moment where he's like, hey, maybe we should just drift over to the other dock. Yep, and then we're gonna move the lines. This is a great tip for anybody when you're down there docking. Before you even approach the dock, take a few seconds and just put your boat in an idle and see what happens. See what way your boat's gonna just man like automatically drift. And you may find that this is the easiest approach for your docking if you can dock and let the current or the wind just push you lightly into the dock, kind of like this crew finally figured out. And of course, it wouldn't be a day down here at Black Point if we didn't have a vehicle that was stuck on the ramp, kind of like we see here. So our crew's trying to pull out, but they're not having a whole lot of success. They're gonna back it up a little bit, try to take a little pressure off the truck. And here we go again. And that's going nowhere. You can hear the tires spinning there in the background. They're trying to power through it. I mean, we got a couple people standing around the dock staring at this action. Time to get some of these people involved. Toss them in the back of the truck, man. I, they might get it. And it looks like they did. I thought they were gonna need a little extra help, but it looks like they just powered their way through it. And got up. But the truck next to them stuck up here on the ramp as well. And there we go. We get a little two for action and they both wind up up top. Thanks for watching crew. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats who does a bunch of great things down at the inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Haulover, Remain a Machine, Take on Mother Nature down at Haulover Inlet. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.